Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. Did you know that since the first Apollo mission in 1969, astronauts have reported strange flashes of light on the surface of the moon that seems to come out of nowhere? Many researchers have made speculations about the cause and possible origins of the flashing lights, but none of them have ever come close to being a definitive explanation. However, there are some theories that may hold a little weight in explaining the occurrence of these strange flashes. So in today's video, we're going to explore some of the theories as we try to figure out these mysterious flashes of light that's coming from the surface of the moon. First, we're going to talk about the cosmic ray conundrum. As mentioned earlier, astronauts since the first moon landing by Apollo 11 have reported sightings of flashing lights on the moon's surface. Now, what's strange about it is that they have reported these flashes even when their eyes were closed. According to astronaut Charles Duke, who said, I'm having these light flashes. I'm seeing this like light flashing in my eyeballs. Astronauts who have encountered the lights would describe it as white flashes, but there are others who have reported back after encountering light in different colors, such as blue and yellow. And in almost all instances, after they have come back home to Earth, astronauts who have come across these lights would still see flashes under various lighting conditions. And one theory why this could be all happening is cosmic rays. Defined as highly energetic atomic nucleus, or particle that travels through space at a speed close to that of light, these rays and how they interact with the human optic nerve are responsible for the eyes seeing strange lights in various degrees of color, depending on how much radiation from cosmic rays that optic nerve has absorbed. And to test this theory, engineers put together an experiment involving a black box that can be worn as a helmet. The box would then have sensors that would detect the presence of cosmic rays. Astronaut Charles Duke wore the helmet on his next mission and reported back seeing clusters of lights and white streaks at the same time the box detected the presence of cosmic rays in his immediate environment. Another theory explaining the flashes of light is the existence of cold spots on the moon's surface. These cold spots have been discovered to have layers of thin ice and frost that, when light from the sun reflects on it, it creates flashing or blinking that may trick the eye into believing that the lights are coming from the moon itself. Revealed from NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, or LRO, the data brought back helped researchers identify certain areas on the moon's south pole that are cold enough to have frost formations. These formations are suspected to be located in craters where temperatures can drop to negative 163 degrees Celsius. And according to Elizabeth Fisher, the lead author of the study, we found that the coldest place near the moon's south pole are also the brightest places, brighter than we would expect from soil alone, and that might indicate the presence of surface frost. Furthermore, the research suggests that the ice deposits on the moon appear to be thin and in patches and may be mixed with the moon's soil and dust. Also, the evidence of frost suggests that the moon may either have water deposits for millions of years, or it may have been brought by colliding asteroids, which may also explain how water was delivered on the surface of the Earth. Although another hypothesis points out that hydrogen may have been present in a different form on the surface of the moon, but the idea that the moon could store water ice is still difficult to confirm and is being looked into for over 50 years now and since 2009. Now let's talk about the transient lunar phenomena. This is a rather controversial study that mainly involves looking into bright sparks on the moon's surface, decoloration, or misty patches of lunar fog. Transient lunar phenomena was a term created by Sir Patrick Moore in 1968 in order to give the sightings credence in the scientific community. However, according to studies on the subject, these sightings have existed for more than a millennium. One of the early records of this phenomenon was traced back to a mistake made in the 16th century when early astronomers spotted a daytime star near the moon, but that later on turned out to be Venus. Fast forward to 1969, to a time when astronomy has made larger strides since the 16th century. During the Apollo 11 mission, Neil Armstrong remarked that there was an area that is considerably more illuminated than the surrounding area of the moon. After several studies conducted by NASA after the Apollo 11 mission, various photographs and images have been taken and produced in order to find the root cause of the strange lights. Unfortunately, unlike the sudden flashes caused by asteroids on impact, the illumination on the surface of the moon appears to be much more subtle and harder to trace. And in a study conducted by the British Astronomical Association led by Jill Scrambler, the amount of data used between 1700 and 2010 were impressive, and the studies conducted on each of them were extremely thorough as each data from different observers, from amateur to seasoned astronomers, were weighted 
tested for reliability. The result was that at least 2% of the TLP sightings were considered definitive and unambiguous. To put it simply, there really is something happening on the surface of the moon. We just aren't sure what it is. This phenomenon is interesting because the moon itself is a rather interesting topic. First of all, we have really no idea how the moon got there. There are even studies that show the moon may even be hollow inside and actually made out of some metallic substance. So maybe it's not even a natural phenomenon that's causing the moon to flash light. Maybe, who knows, maybe alien bases are there right now. But let me know what you guys think about this phenomenon. I'm also going to include a link to a video that talks about the different mysteries of the moon in my description box below. Thanks so much for watching. See you later.